Then as you stated, Sarah, don't come off sleazy. We've all got those cold DMs and it's like, well, who are you? Yeah, they don't even send me this, like, follow you, but you know, yeah, we'd be yeah. afraid to say. I'm like, hello, <laughs> say good morning, address me. You know, yeah. don't just jump into the sale. Yeah, we get so many of these that it's, it's become tiring, but there are better practices that we can do to find clients. We're talking about DMs, how to get clients in the DMs. It is an important subject to everybody, particular business owners, content creators. We want to actually use this tool that Instagram has given us for free and hopefully continues to be free and help use it so that we can actually reach out to a bigger audience, find qualified leads that actually would have, we could sell services and products to and so much more. I have a few questions for Sarah and Taylor. We're going to get into it, share a few strategies that we use in regards to finding clients. My first question to you guys in regards to how to get clients for Instagram DMs is, do you believe that messages, and when I say messages, I mean DMs, are one of Instagram's most underrated or overrated features? Uh, I would say it's underrated because I think it's like what Instagram's edge is compared to like the other social media platform mm. is the DMs are just such a great way to connect with people. So I would say underrated. No, I definitely agree. I think they're underrated. And you made an interesting point because TikTok is actually, it's really hard to find the DMs. Like a lot of people don't even know where they are on TikTok. And so that's definitely an edge Instagram has. And I think a lot of people kind of ignore them or leave them or they let them build up or they'll just kind of take them as like, oh, someone asked a question, whatever. It doesn't matter that much. But it pretty much is like the equivalent of someone walking up to you in a store and asking you a question. You wouldn't just turn around and walk away. So I think <laughs> if you're ignoring them, you're missing out on a huge opportunity for growth. I actually agree with both of you. I think it's underrated. I think it's a feature, as you both stated, it's one that when you look at TikTok and YouTube, they're lacking in it. And I think it's one of the best features that Instagram has because how many other social media platforms in, outside of TikTok and YouTube that you could actually contact the creator directly and have messages with them? I mean, I've actually got responses for a few celebrities, unbelievably, from, from responses that I put out and brands, you know, if you complain about a brand, there's a high chance that they might actually respond back to you, whether it's for customer support or just acknowledgement of liking their product. I think it's really underrated, but it's something that's continuously growing and we need to start pay paying more attention to it. About 50% of users to business messaging starts from IG stories, but those messages are, are DMs. We have to be aware of the power of the DM when it comes to actually from our users to businesses because they want to get in contact with us and they want information fast. So I think it's something that we can't ignore. When we're thinking about it from the point of view of a business owner, um, and that's the big question right now, which is our main topic of how to get clients using DMs. Yeah, I think the first one would be including a call to action in your a caption of any post saying to send you a DM if they're interested in whatever it is you have to offer. And that could be asking them to send you a DM with a certain word or could just say to send me a DM if you want to talk more about a certain topic. Um, and that just encourages them to go ahead and start that conversation. And then the second one is encouraging them to do the same, but in stories, because the message bar is right there. It's super easy for them to send a message when they're looking at your story. So even just encouraging them to take that action is going to make a huge difference because people need you to take them through the steps most of the time. Describing a problem that I see that a lot of people have on, on just social media in general, they're afraid to ask. You know, you, you want them to take part in some form of action on a post, whether it's the comments, whether it's the share, save, like. Most people put up their post and they just let it be and they hope that the individual reading it would just take part in what they hope would happen. But you have to go out there and ask. And I just stated and do that on post and do that in IG stories. Most business messaging starts from the IG stories in regards to Instagram. Uh, a proactive way to get clients from the DMs is you as the business owner paying attention to who's watching your stories. Mm -hmm. That might be an ideal client and then flagging like making a note of them and reaching out to them on their stories naturally not in like a sleazy dm way just like genuinely engaging so i would say that would be like a proactive way 
Um, and then also when it comes to when you're going to post stories, make sure you use those kind of stickers to encourage the engagement on your stories, which then can kind of fire up your DMs. So using the question box is a great way to get right in the DMs with a potential client because they'll answer the question box. You can either share it yeah. on your stories or just directly message them. It's getting those, those uh, conversations started. It's yeah. hard to get these conversation started sometimes and as you're suggesting using some of the native built-in features that Instagram has like the question sticker and there's so many other different stickers like the polls and and uh, the slider don't just put them up there utilize them once people actually respond you know like even with the poll if you put up a poll and you give two options when those people respond and hit them back up in the DM DMs, take the conversation a little bit deeper. Half of that people that respond might be the exact qualifying lead that you are looking for. And the other mm -hmm. half, don't ignore them. Maybe you can lead them to another product or service that they might actually be interested that you offer. I love those ideas in regards to how to get clients in the DMs. And as you stated, Sarah, don't come off sleazy. We've all got those cold DMs and it's like, well, who are you? Yeah, they don't even send me this, like, follow you, but you know, yeah, we'd be yeah. afraid to I'm like, hello, <laughs> say good morning, address me, you know, yeah. don't just jump into the sale. Yeah, we get so many of these that it's it's become tiring, but there are better practices that we could do to find clients. I'll give the honorable mention that I posted in my reel yesterday, which was to do a hi or welcome message to some of your new followers. Start off the conversation that way. If they actually took the time to hit the follow button, there's already some form of connection with you and that individual. So try to see if you can foster the relationship. So that's my honorable mention. Um, as you suggested, using the questions and stickers, I, I, I just think stickers in general is such a great idea that we could utilize in regards to washing engagement straight off of the back. We want them to actually take the initiative and not do it in a forceful way. Sometimes I would suggest put a story up before the IG story that talks about the conversation or the topic and then follow it up with maybe a poll or a question because you're kind of leading into them to actually respond. And my other option would be to offer a lead magnet. Lead magnets are so powerful nowadays in regards to offering your audience something for free, whether it's a PDF, whether it's a chart, something of value that your audience could actually take away from and learn because what they're gonna do is look at that and say, wow, this person gave me this for free. I'm more willing to actually work with them to see what they would actually have to offer that I pay for. Now we all know how important DMs are. So my last question on this topic, and I want anybody in the audience to respond to this. Go ahead and respond in the comments. My question to both Sarah and, and Taylor is, on a scale of one to five, how important are DMs to your business strategy on Instagram? I would say five. I think they okay. are so important because, like you said, it just helps build that relationship. We can um leave voice notes we can do video responses that's just like it goes down to the dms like you said so i think that it is a very important part when it comes to building your business how about you tell yeah i would say five as well i mean i probably say a lot of things are a five on the scale of importance <laughs> for building your business <laughs> Instagram, but dms are definitely up there and a lot more recently as well people have been reaching out to me on dms even before they'll go to my website or look at my services. And so it is super important because even hiding in your requests could be someone saying like, hey, I'm ready to work with you. Let's chat about it. So I think, yeah, it's at the top for me as well. That's an excellent point about those DMs that are usually hiding in the requests because sometimes we ignore them. That's like the corner, the shadow area yeah. in the <laughs> inbox that we try to ignore, but you never know the potential that might be lying there. I, I fully agree with both of you guys. It's a five how important DMs are to me. I think that uh, I, I love the DMs. I love meeting new people through DMs, trying to help and offer solutions to their problems in a DM. And it usually leads to some form of relationship, whether it's business or just friendly after that. So I think DMs are really important. And as we all kind of agreed upon, none of the other platforms have that advantage. So why not take advantage and make benefits of it on Instagram? I want to know from you guys that are watching, how important are DMs to your content strategy on Instagram? Go ahead and put it in the comments. Just put a number one through five, five being the highest. I want to know from some of you guys. I hope that you guys were able to, to learn a lot, get a lot of insight from our conversation. I was joined by the amazing Sarah of Social and Stuff, Taylor of Flair Digital Marketing, 
And I think what we shared with you guys would help you move further. And as I just stated, and I always like to kind of end with, it'll help you set the camera.